What's going on, YouTube? Oh, there's a reflection. What's going on, YouTube? It's the body here, and we got a big match tomorrow. A big, big semifinal match. Man, I wish it was a finals, but I'll take it anyway. Semifinals match tomorrow for your tennis junkies. Rafael Nadal versus Novak Djokovic. A rematch of last year's uh, French Open finals where, you know, Nadal, I mean, jo uh, Djokovic was coming back. He was down two sets. He was coming back. He won the, won the next two sets easily. Was on his way winning the, the fifth set. Rain delay. Match got postponed. Nadal was able to, to regroup. He got a chance to, you know, calm down, focus a bit. The next day he came out and flat out won the French Open. I mean, to his credit though, Nadal is, he's virtually unbeatable on clay. He lost once to Soderling back in 2010, I think. Who, uh, I mean, but anyway, 55, 56, and 1 on that surface. I mean, that's just unbelievable. But, but if you're looking for a prediction here, I got I to gotta go with Djokovic on this one. I think Djokovic is going to win it. It's not going to be easy. I think it's going to be maybe four sets. But, jo I mean, but Nadal, he's been looking a little rusty. You know, he's been losing the first set, maybe the first three or couple of matches. So he's starting to pick it up. He picked it up again. He beat Warinka in straight sets, who Warinka is not a, not a easy cookie. He's a tough opponent. But I think Warinka was a little... Little gassed out after the five set marathon over uh, Richard Gasquet, so I kind of take that into consideration. But Nadal was losing first round, first sets in like the first couple rounds against these so-called, I mean, against top one hundred players. But I'm gonna call them scrubs. I mean, they were just to Nadal standards, they were scrubs. I mean, the guy, you know, last year he was <laughs> he wasn't even dropping games on his serve. So, I mean, I didn't think he dropped a set until the finals against uh, Novak Djokovic last year. But this Novak Djokovic uh, Rafael Nadal rivalry, if you want to call it that, I mean, seriously, it's really been all Novaks. It's been Novak a majority of the time. You know, they, I think Nadal won against uh, Djokovic maybe last year in the U.S. Open. No, sorry. No, two years ago or something like that. Anyway, Djokovic used to lose to Nadal, but now it's just kind of been a one-way one -way ticket. It's been all Djokovic, aside from the the um, the French Open last year. Djokovic has really transformed his game. I mean, he's going for more shots. His forehand is just unbelievable. He covers ground so well, even on clay. Even against Nadal, I think, I, I honestly think, uh, jo yeah, I can't see anymore, fuck it. Djokovic, I think Djokovic is going to win this in four sets. The guy's backhand, he hits the backhand up the line so well. And as long as he can just not hit it to Nadal's forehand, I think that's the problem, is that people keep testing Nadal's forehand, Nadal's forehand or his backhand, or forehand, or however you want to, uh, his righty's backhand, you know. People are going to keep testing it, but clearly that's his shot. If Djokovic can just make Nadal hit the hit the backhand, then I think, Nadal's, I think Djokovic is going to win this. Nadal, Djokovic plays an unbelievable game. He covers the ground so well. He hits the backhand up the line, which is argu arguably the toughest shot in the game. And what I like about Djokovic is that he likes to attack the net. He likes to shorten the points. He doesn't. He likes to approach the ball, which is what everyone should do, by the way. I can. Um, that's another video for another time. But he approaches the net well. He 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 takes the shot. He he, he knows how to he knows how to dictate his shots. He I mean he plays the points unbelievable. And I don't know. Like I said, I think five, I think four sets. Not gonna be. They're not gonna be blowout sets. They're gonna be maybe seven five. Break. I mean, just one break is gonna determine it. Probably even some tiebreakers. But this is gonna be. <laughs> this match is gonna be an epic, epic match. It's gonna be unbelievable. Now the other match, the other side. Uh, Ferrer versus Songa. 
Sangha, man, that guy is... That guy is disgusting. He's got a sick forehand, too. He, I mean... Federer, although Federer is 31, he took it to him. Straight sets. I mean, that hasn't... I don't think... I don't think that has ever happened in Federer's career. I think Federer... From the, way I, from the way I see it, I don't think Federer has lost in straight sets to a top 10 opponent. I mean, to someone outside the top 4 or 5. I know he's lost in straight sets against Nadal, and maybe to even Djokovic or something. But, man, Sanga just took it to him. But don't worry about Federer. People who are on the Federer bandwagon, I'm on the Federer bandwagon. You know, I, I fucking love Federer. He is arguably the greatest tennis player ever, you know? But don't worry about it, Federer fans. He's going to bounce back at Wimbledon. I think he's going to make it to the finals. But again, that's another video for another time. David Ferrer and Sanga, that's going to be a tough one. But I think I got to I gotta go with the Frenchman here because I think that crowd is going to help him out in times of need. I think Sanga, he's a little bit younger. Or, I mean, he is younger. He has a little bit more energy. He's got a better forehand. He's got a powerful serve. I mean, when the going gets tough, every time I've watched Songa play, and he's always down 1540, double break point, that serve has bailed him out so many times. I mean, it's just unbelievable how he can just quickly turn the tide with his serve. It's, it's ridiculous. But I think Songa wins. It ain't going to be easy. It's going to be a tough five sets. Because David Ferrer is, <laughs> he's no, he's no easy, he's no easy cookie either. He's, he's a fighter. So, tough five sets. Novak versus Sanga in the finals. But that'll be another video for another time once we establish all of that. Once we know what the finals are. But again, Rafael Nadal versus Novak Djokovic is, this is turning, turning into the Nadal, the, the Nadal, Federal rivalry. It's kind of Djokovic is now stepping into uh, Federer's place, but at least this time, Djokovic is actually doing the damage against Nadal, whereas Nadal was doing the damage to Federer. But anyway, I still think four sets, Djokovic and Songa in the finals.